Tony Soy Sass Sass and welcome to another episode of Got Review. And um, today is Friday when I'm recording this. It's a tough day. It's a hard day. It's a day of learning. So, what we're gonna smoke will be a confused cigar. Today we're gonna smoke the Drew Estate Feral Pig. Feral Pig. But, uh, um, this is supposed to be a big size of their flying pig. But because it looks like this, now it's a perfecto. Take a look at this cigar really quickly. So the full name of this one is a Drew Estate Liga Pavada Unico Series Ferro Flying Pig. And the wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. As you can see, it's kind of ugly uh, on the outside. Oily, but ugly. Uh, with the tail, find this Brazilian Matafina. Filler is Nicaraguan. The size is Five and roughly what three quarter uh five and five point three seven five by sixty perfecto. And MSRP I guess is sixteen fifty. Now this cigar is most likely provided to me by Eric. I'm not sure. <laughs> I am not sure, but I think he did. Because I wouldn't have gone out of my way to buy a Jewish Day cigar. Especially something this ugly. Now, when I say ugly, I'm not really trying to insult the cigar. It just looks like a really unfinished sausage that has been like left it there for generations. So now the entire, you know, the sausage changed to brown. That's what it looks like. Even this smells like my just my cedar wood tray. It's been sitting there for a while. So I. I'm not sure who did, but since Eric was the one that mentioned it, that he should have said one to me before, I think this is from him. Yeah, all it smells like is my cedar tray. All right, let's um, get smoking. Uh, for those people that don't know, if you get a pig that has a pigtail like that, you can technically just peel off the pig and smoke it. Okay, you can. Like, like, like this. Just like that. Now you can smoke it. Okay, now you can smoke it. But I rather cut it, so. It's weird. Because <clears throat> I like more draw, so. All right, it's got that fermenti Brazilian Matafina weird floralness. That's what I got. If you don't know what Brazilian Matafina tastes like, it's floral. How do we know? We taste it. <clears throat> Let's go. Ooh, okay. Coffee espresso, woodsiness, dark tongue char notes, pepper, cinnamon. Well, between pepper and the cinnamon. A little bit of um, like an earthy slash mineral bitterness.
There's definitely some cocoa in here too. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Tastes pretty good. I think we'll be able to reach that price very easily, very easily. So <clears throat> let me smoke one third and we'll be right back. All right, about one third of the way in. This is about a medium plus in strength right now. It's kind of weird. Um, it's got a good amount of like sweetness, molasses. Uh, there's some chocolate or cocoa. Uh, there's a little bit of a dark no. There's a little bit of pepper. It, overall, it's not bad. It tastes pretty good. Uh, and obviously, we get this artificial oil, super oily wrapper. That is not characteristic of this wrapper to start with. Like, this is too much smoke for this wrapper. This, it, it's not burning this wrapper. That it Definitely, they wrapped some oil over this. Yeah. This smoke up was ridiculous. <laughs> like burning oil. Mineral oil. So, yeah. First there, not too bad. Um, continue with the second, third. Uh, I just, this cigar is it's just so thick and burns slow. So even though it feels like a, a uh, perfecto, uh, but it it burns like, um, I don't know, someone one of those lunatic that doesn't burn well, or it will burn forever kind of thing. So second, third, I'll be right back. Okay, second, third. This cigar is full strength. Like, I, as I smoke it, like, uh, more and more I feel, it kind of creeps up. And then once it creeps up, it stays there. Full strength. Full strength cigar burns very slow. A lot of smoke. Uh, even if I'm not puffing on it, it's giving me smoke. So, full strength. Now, it still have the same kind of flavor. And then as it goes, it gets... It just feels stronger. But it didn't taste stronger. It just feels stronger. All right? You start to feel that pressure. You start to feel that there is something there. Look at the smoke, holy shit. Right? And uh, for me, it kind of starts to get more, that flavor get more leathery. And and I think that's part of it of like tasting that strength too. It just gets thicker. And uh, for me, it's a downturn. It's, it's not a good thing because I'm, I'm more focusing on the flavor than the strength. The strength doesn't do anything for me, right? So, uh, it, it, it's a it's a downturn for me to say, okay, now I have to judge between the flavor, whether or not it matches the strength that I had to deal with. Right? For strength, I like I had to deal with the strength. Flavor I don't have to deal with, right? So I'm dealing with the strength. So I'm I'm I slow down a lot and I start to smoke this thing. It it become a little bit of a chore. It does taste good. It works very well with my coffee. I'm drinking a coffee right now. And yeah, it's a, it's like a cocoa, dark, charred, smoky taste. It's not bad cigar. It's just that you had to deal with the strength. Okay, you had to deal with the strength. So, last third. But before the last third, let's see if I can get this band off. Slowly. Yeah. It's a serious cigar, though. It is definitely a serious cigar. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just like you have to deal with the strength. I mean, if you if you can handle like full strength, this cigar is good for you, man. This cigar is great. But if you like, don't usually smoke a full strength cigar. This cigar become a chore. All right, I can't. This uh, this bend is not gonna come off one piece. No. No. I just don't like these paper paper band. They they once you glue on there, they they never come off clean you know they don't come off clean yeah all right it's not gonna come up clean but i can get get it off but get it off all right standard unico style just the font and uh and uh you know the unico um griffin uh thing that's all you get that's all you get one bit one band gets uh, the name through. It always feel, makes me feel like when they do the Unico series, it's like a... It's like a demo band, you know, demo, and then just like you know, put the name on it, say stamp it on. It has that feel to it, so it's always the same, but... 
Yeah, let me go through another, I don't know, 45 minutes for this last stir because I'm really got to slow down. I can't feel it. So um, I'll be right back. Last stir. All right. We're done. So the cigar, like I say, continues to be very, very strong. You will feel that. You're guaranteed to feel like after you're done with the half, halfway, you know, I'll get into the last stir. If you stand up, you're, you're like, oh, what did I do to myself? Yeah, that's one of those things. Uh, the flavor... I think it kind of died down a little bit of strength in it. So it's a it's a minus for me. But overall, the, the cigar itself, it's got a lot of cocoa, a lot of leather, a lot of, you know, you got all that dark characteristic of the cigar. It has a lot of flavor, but I think the strength overtake that flavor way too much. That strength is strong. That's for, uh, you. Okay, <clears throat> if you got to treat this cigar like a two hour cigar, have a good night. <laughs> okay? You gotta fall asleep right after that. But if you gotta treat this cigar like a four-hour cigar, you might enjoy it more than you think. It's just... Uh, it's a very, very strong flavor cigar. Well, not flavor cigar. Flavorful cigar. It's not for everyone. Definitely not for everyone. It's like a challenge, almost. It's like a challenge to smoke this cigar. I wouldn't recommend for beginners. I wouldn't recommend for people who smoke one or two years ago. I would recommend for people who are experienced and can, like, you know, once you feel it, you know how to control it so you don't die. That's the people that should be smoking this cigar. People who are experienced. People who are know how to control, know how to get the flavor out of it, know and, and actually like the strength. If you don't, you're not going to like it. So, with that being said, I'm setting this price range to... 12 and a half. 12 and a half to 13 is roughly what I can give him. Uh, now, to me, that's that because the, the strength bothers me. But if you like strength, if you like strength, I will give it around 15. All right. If you like strength, 15. If you don't like strength, 12 and a half, 13. Okay? So, big thanks to Eric sending me the cigar and tried to kill me. And, um, like, you know, yeah, I'm not really good with the, like, you know, full, full strength cigar. So, but thank you anyway. Thank, thanks to Eric. I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> it's very strong. He's like, just finish it. I'm like, ah, I'm gonna die. So, big thanks to him. I hope uh, everybody's entertained to see my face dying. You know, my soul left me a little bit. All that stuff. All right, and that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out our swag. Check out our podcast. Check out our, our, our membership. And I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.